Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and it's officially, well, three days until fall. But, but, it's fall in this house, it's been fall in this house, and I have a super giant, massively heavy vintage chic scents haul to talk to you guys about. So, let's get into it. Something I have to add about Kirby's Wax is it's like a fine wine. The longer you have it, the better it gets. And the first thing I want to talk about is what's called a vault box. Now, once in a blue, blue moon, I don't want to say it's every year, it's just every, while, every once in a while, she'll offer what's called a vault box. And it's essentially extras that she's poured that have been sitting, curing, really getting a lot of cure time, and I mean a lot of cure time. And when you pop it in your melters, it is just as strong as it was then, even stronger. And it doesn't lose its scent. Her wax formula she has created can just, just cure and cure and cure and get better and better and better. So for the vault box, it was a mystery box of vintage scents and just some vintage product. So the first thing in the vault box was Lovely Lydia, and this is Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow. This was poured in August of 2019. So in August of 2021, that's two years. I mean, that's crazy. And it still smells amazing. And there's three little ghosts in the bag, and it smells just like a Bath & Body Works candle. It, to me, the Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow candle smells just like a Jet Puff Marshmallow. Like, I don't really smell any pumpkin, and I don't smell any pumpkin in this either. And I know you're like, really, that's old wax. It is, but I can pop this in my warmers right now, and it doesn't need to cure. And it's phenomenal. It's amazing. It's so strong, and it's still strong years later. These are two little, are these Michael Myers masks? I, I am so bad. I think this is Michael Myers. I don't know. But this is in the scent Scoops Ahoy. And this is hang out with Robin and Steve at the ice cream parlor while sampling this vanilla ice cream topped with buttered pecans inside a sugary waffle cone. This was for July 2019. And they're two little masks. I'll probably pop these in my warmers. Like, this is a nighttime scent for me. It's like a really rich, creamy bakery. It's like butter pecan ice cream. Like a full-on butter pecan ice cream. Yum, and that's Scoops Ahoy. Next, we have the Warren's Magnolia Bakery, and this is, is this Michael Myers? I'm bad. This is July 2019. Sit in Cozy Bakery and enjoy glazed cinnamon donuts, a warm cup of Cider Lane topped with gooey marshmallows, caramel drizzle, and gooey marshmallows, or sweet cinnamon. And this is a big piece. I don't really pick up on anything but the Warrens right now, which is okay because the Warrens is amazing. It's like her version of Cider Lane, but better. It's much more rich, gooey caramel. <sighs> I love the Warrens so much. You guys know that, and I have some more of the Warrens in this haul too. So there's the Warrens Magnolia Bakery. This guy. This is old school. This is the Stanley Hotel. Are you ready for the pour date on this? September 2016. Five years old. And there's a little cake. I can already smell it. Oh my God, it's so strong. And there's a little pumpkin. And this is, I believe it's her harvest with Vanilla Bean Noel. And I honestly, What's crazy is I pick up on both. I pick up on Harvest, which is like a more cinnamon stick to me. The Harvest scent, which is a Yankee Candle dupe, it's like the quintessential Michaels scent. There's a lot of scents that are like, oh, it smells like Michaels, oh, it smells like Michaels. Harvest smells like Michaels. So this definitely smells like the Harvest scent, but I do get a little bit of creaminess, which is from that Vanilla Bean Noel. Very interesting to mix those two together. And I mean, five years. That's going in my melter soon. Ramona, if you're watching this video, a poinsettia. This is her favorite shape, and I know why. They're beautiful. Look how pretty these poinsettias are. 
And this is in Elderwise. Or Elderwise. I don't know what this scent is. But it definitely smells cinnamony. Like cinnamon stick. And that's all I can pick up. And this was poured in September of 2017. So, four years. It smells so good. And again, like I said, she's not going to sell you wax that doesn't throw. Her wax throws. And her wax throws even after years of cure time. This one is The Holiday. And this is Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. And this was November of 2019. And it's an adorable little gingerbread man. You pick up on the Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies, 100% which is just like a really tart blackberry with a buttery, delicious cookie. And then Cupcakes at Tiffany's is just like a delicious cupcake set. And to me, that's like more of a blender. So it's like a really creamy, tart blackberry. Next, I have a bakery bag. You wanna talk about throwback. It literally just has the Enjoy Kirby and it is in the craft. Poured in August of 2018. There are three of my favorite shapes in here, her leaves. I love these leaves. I literally, no joke, and the thing with Kirby's Wax too is less is always more. So for me, I'm just putting the bag down, I would cut these either in half or even in thirds and pop them into my warmers. I mean, this is very similar to Cider Lane, the craft, but to me, it has a little bit more apple and cinnamon than the the Warrens does but if you like the Warrens you'll like it that creamy caramel mm, it's so good and this is definitely going to get melted this year and that's what I mean so like I wanted to buy this fall vault box because it's all stuff that I can enjoy now enjoy some vintagey scents and then all the fall that I bought this year I can save for next year the Warrens visit Cookie Monster and this is just in a regular little bar and this is poured fresh on June 2018. And this guy, it's a little bar. Ah, uh, it's crazy because the Warrens is always detectable in scents, but you can pick up on Cookie Monster, which is like her signature cookie scent. It's like a rich, gooey cookie batter. I don't think it smells like chocolate chip cookies. It just smells more like a sugar cookie dough. Cookie batter, did I say cookie batter? cookie dough. This, okay, this to me smells like if you went into the crumble cookie store in fall. Delish. The next one is It's Showtime, and I'm actually melting this in, I had like one of her scream shapes in all my warmers today. It's from the same batch. I actually bought it years ago. Oh, let's see, years ago. September 2020. 2020. So it's about a year old. Amazing. It's, it's showtime is pumpkin and oud. And oud wood is like a very, to me it's a more of a masculine, very warm, like cologne wood. But mixed with a pumpkin, oh, it's like, this would be like a pumpkin cologne. It's so good. And it's like filling the air too because that's what I'm melting right now. Whoops. Ah! And it's one of her film bars, by the way. It's just like a cologne warm, cozy scent. Still some vintage things. These are her two tiles. And this is poured May of 2020. And this is Waffle Cone Bakery. Buttery vanilla, fresh rolled dough, gooey butter, waffle cone, and sugared almonds. Just like you walked into the bakery. So a very like creamy, my hair is driving me crazy today, guys. Creamy vanilla almond scent. Yeah, and it does. If you are familiar with Parental's Bakery. I, it is a Pittsburgh thing, but I know it's pretty well known. They make this thing called a burnt almond tort. That's what this smells like. Like a cozy toasted almond that are covered in sugar that don't even taste like nuts. They literally taste like candy mixed with vanilla sugar and oh, it's so good. I, guys, I'm so excited for this stuff. I'm not, 
I'm just as excited about this stuff as I am about my regular order, but I mean, this stuff just has so much cure time on it, it's literally vintage. This one, cookie baking at Jackio's. So I don't have what cookie baking is, but I assume it's just like cookies baking, and Jackio is her vanilla, vanilla bakery scent. I'm trying to think of what cookie this smells like. It definitely smells like you're making a fall cookie, like cinnamon, nutmeg, that kind of thing. Maybe you're making a snickerdoodle with Jackie O. Yeah, it's like a creamy, a creamy vanilla, little bit spicy, but like a sugary spice cookie. It's delish. Oh, my God. it just keeps going, this vault box. Then we have Hawaiian Tropic Suds, totally different than the other ones. Fresh laundry blended with sweet spun sugar, fluffy marshmallows, and Hawaiian Tropic Lotion. And this was March of 2020. I love these tile shapes. Whew. This is interesting. This is literally laundry and suntan lotion. Crazy. Yeah, I mean, there's not much more to say, but laundry and suntan lotion. I smell the bubbly... Um, like sudsy laundry, but then like summery, like you, you're washing your beach towels that are like covered in suntan lotion. That's crazy. The only thing that came broken, it was a leaf, but I'm gonna melt it anyway. And this is in Zombie. And this is this captivating blend of warm spiced cranberry will be in your head, in your head. Zombie AA. I, I don't know what zombie is. And this is September 2019. I love any type of cranberry. I love tart cranberry. I love bakery cranberry. I love any type of cranberry. The new Bath and Body Works Ice Cranberry Scone Candle. Heaven. Yeah, this is like, like a spiced cranberry. I was literally thinking to myself, I need to pause the camera because my, my camera only records 12 minute segments. So I need to edit it. But I was like, it's going to shut off and it literally shut right off. This, it's like a good transitional from fall to Christmas because you're getting more into those warm, spicy scents on top of the cranberry. This one, the great pumpkin. And you have five little pumpkins. And this was poured June of 2017. This is going in my melting basket. Uh, I'm going to do a melting basket video too, guys. Believe me. Uh, it's just like a gooey, creamy pumpkin. Like, to me, this is like pumpkin pie. Like, pumpkin puree, vanilla, cinnamon, nutmeg. Oh, maybe even a little caramel, because I do it like a little bit of a sweetness. Mm. And these pumpkins are going to be perfect. Five, five pumpkins, five melts. Boom, 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 boom. Pumpkin heaven. Burn a pumpkin candle. Amazing. I've talked about this scent before in my videos. This is called L, which is... 11 from um, Stranger Things, and uh, it's a cute little trick-or-treat block, but I already know this is like Eggo waffles smothered in cinnamon butter and maple syrup. Okay, I don't know how she does this. This literally smells like Eggo waffles. I already have a couple roses in my collection, in my stash, I should say, and oh, uh, this is so good. It smells like Eggo waffles, like toasty Eggo waffles. I have no idea how she does it. No idea. It literally smells like Eggo waffles. If you have never tried L or 11 and you like like those Eggo waffles, you'll instantly be transported to eating those waffles. I was going to say your childhood, but I eat them still now. And then the last one in the vault box is Hurricane Mills. Poured on September 2018. I'm going in blind because I have no idea what this is. Caramel. Apple. Like a caramel apple for sure. That's all I can get is like a caramel apple. And it's like two-toned with some glitter on top. Yeah. This is like a caramel apple. So I'm not super descriptive. I, I don't know how else to describe it. It's like a caramel apple. Mm, it's yummy. I'm definitely going to put this away for, well, next month, but 
Oh, I have a festival next month that I'm super excited about, a fall festival, and I'm planning on melting all the festival treats that week, and that's going in that basket. And like, you know, just when you get home from the festival and you have all your new like fall and Christmas decorations and your house smells so cozy, there's nothing better. I'm going to go and put all this stuff away so we can talk about the stuff that I just purchased. I maneuvered everything. <sighs> Alright. There's a lot of wax here. There's not a ton of different scents, but there's a lot of it. I want to first start off with the samples. I did get one sample in the vault box and then one sample in this order. In the vault box, I got McBoo. I want to talk about this in a little bit, but can you see this scent shot is literally filled right to the top. The lid doesn't even go on it. So this is going to get melted soon. Although this was only poured on 9-7, so I'm going to let it cure for a little while. But McBoo, Campfire Marshmallows, Gooey Marshmallows, Palo Santo, and Vanilla Frosted Graham Crackers. It doesn't take away my all-time favorite Sweeney's Barber Shop, but it's so good. The Palo Santo in this makes the gooey marshmallows and the graham crackers really capture the true essence of a campfire without being overly like strong on the roasty toasty campfire scent. It's a new favorite. And then the other sample I got is in Ghost Faced. Ghost ghost face. Caramelized pralines, cream cheese frosting, and zucchini bread. That was a catch. Ugh. Caramelized pralines is such a good scent because it's literally like you go into the mall and they're roasting those nuts and there's like buttery, sugary confection mixed with zucchini bread. Ugh. You can never go wrong with zucchini bread. I feel like this is like a total southern scent. Like, Caramelized pralines, zucchini bread, cooking like an amazing meal. Mm, love. I picked up only two souffles. One of these, my friend, you know who you are if you're watching this video, begged me to try this. She goes, you need to try it, you need to try it, you need to try it. And it is Moonstone. Eucalyptus, spearmint, and peppermint. To me, this is a total like headache relief scent. You can definitely pick up on eucalyptus and spearmint together. Like, that's, I feel like, a, a quintessential combination. But the peppermint in this kind of makes it Christmassy. But I can totally get headache relief because it is, like, nose clearing with that peppermint. I'm definitely going to save that for when I have a headache. Shirley Temple. This I'm saving for next year. It is Cherry Fizzy Pop. I don't love cherry scents, but I do love Kirby's Bomb Pop Martini. So I'm like, well, if I love her Bomb Pop Martini, I know I'll love this. And like, I want to show you. These are just her souffles. Six melts, typically, I can get out of one of these. Oh, yeah. And this is like a cherry pop. Just like a fizzy cherry pop. Like, Shirley Temple's. And the cherry is not medicinal cherry. It's definitely like super fruity, almost like a candy cherry. Like, you know, a cherry pop is like artificial, but oh, it is yummy. So that is Shirley Temple. And like I said, I knew I was gonna get this for next year because in the summer, it's just gonna be great. A film bar in Jackie O's Banana Crepe Zucchini Bread. I did not get the peanut butter. It totally sold out on me, but I did manage to get it in a loaf this next round, so I can't stay away from GCS. This is vanilla bean zucchini bread, banana crepe filling, whipped marshmallows, and sliced bananas. Banana and zucchini bread. Catherine King, where are you at? Oh! Oh! Oh my god. This scent, you guys. I will say, zucchini bread is not the dominant note in here, which I'm okay with. Banana is. But I have a feeling, because this is still very freshly poured, September 8th, that that zucchini bread is going to come out when you melt it. This I'm also going to probably get a loaf of soon, but, oh my god. I'm such a sucker for banana scents, and Kirby's banana scents are out of this world. 
Okay. Blossom bars. Kirby and I were messaging a little while ago, and I asked her, are you ever going to bring out Blossom Bars again? She's like, well, I'm not sure, like, that's a lot of wax, and I'm like, yeah, I know, I just, I love them so much. And she's like, well, I know if it comes out, you're going to want it in my favorite scent. And I'm like, of course. She ended up doing a lot of my favorite scents in the Blossom Bars. So, this is a bad one to start on, because you can't really get the details, but... Do you see this? For one, look how thick she is. She's like a half an inch thick. There are these beautiful bars. You can get easily five, six melts out of each one of these. It's 36 melts in this. Easily. Like, if you cut these in half and in thirds, you can get six melts. And this is in McBoo. My gooey marshmallow, zucchini, or zucchini, or Palo Santo deliciousness. This is getting put away for next fall because I just, I love it so much. It's so much wax. I think, and this is like why I love my Scentsy bricks versus the bars. I just love how big it is. I mean, it literally is the size of my head. You can't go wrong. The Warrens. I told you I had a lot of Warrens in this haul. I had to. Like the best Cider Lane scent you've ever smelled. Like I said, it's Kirby's version of Cider Lane gooey, rich, bakery deliciousness. Also getting saved for next year because I have so much Warrens. Tara will never go hungry again. This is a scent that is like been around since the beginning. I always forget to get it. I just like something that I wish I always had in my stash. The thing about Kirby's scents, she has scents that are just so like quintess like iconic to Kirby. And that's like the Warrens, McBoo, Tara will never go hungry again. They are quintessential scents, and you never need to change them, but it's something you always want to have in your stash. Yes, yeah, she always comes out with new scents, but there's scents that you just always want to have on hand. And again, Catherine King, I'm looking at you. Layers of zucchini bread, wildberry mousse, and whipped marshmallows. Now, you pick up on zucchini bread here for sure. But this is like a zucchini bread covered in the best. My friend just went to um, Amish country this weekend and brought me home a homemade wild berry jam. I could picture putting zucchini bread warm in like the air fryer, because air fryers are the best. Pull it out, put some butter on there, and this wild berry jam. The marshmallow, I mean, you could add some marshmallow fluff if you wanted, but in realistically, it's like... You know, just creamy. Amazing. I feel like I'm holding like a playing card. Like a giant, like that game Card Sharks. Do you remember when they had those giant playing cards? It's kind of what it looks like. Another iconic Kirby scent that I was so excited she poured. The Chicago Outfit. Ramona, if you're watching this. Kim from Canada Kim. The Chicago Outfit is such a classic. Such, a, again, an iconic Kirby scent. Juicy blackberry and mango infused ginger ale. Etta, too. I know Etta loves her mango scents. Ugh, blackberry mango ginger ale. Nobody does it like Kirby. The Chicago outfit is just amazing. I'm actually going to pull the bar out so you can really see it. Do you see these? Like, look. They are so massive. I don't ever even want to use them, but, I mean, I got them to melt. Her wax makes me happier than anything. Oh. And like I said, it, the scent hasn't changed for the years. I mean, I go back and I watch all my old, my vintage, vintage chic scents hauls, and I'm just instantly brought back when I see these because I remember buying them years ago. The first thing, a PSA, I'm not sharing. Three Blossom Bars in Sweeney's Barbershop. Yep. Strawberry Mint Shaving Cream. I don't know why this has a hold on me, but it does. Oh! You guys, this is going away for next year. Maybe even years and years now, because I have loaves and 
souffles and roses and everything in this scent. I never want to be without it. If I want to be buried with one of these bars. Not that I want to go anywhere anytime soon, but I want to be buried with one of these bars. So when I'm in the ground and it gets hot, I melt into Sweeney's. Sounds a little crazy. I don't know. That literally just came out like right here. I love Sweeney's Barbershop. And now, are you ready for the grand finale? <laughs> Boom. I don't even know how to open this thing, you guys. I have a jack loaf. Talk about massive. Let me open this bag up. And I am going to probably rebag this. Because she doesn't have a bag big enough. These are her jack loaves. So it's a pumpkin mold. Do you see this? It's about two inches thick. Oh my god. It's a little ha Halloween face. Covered in red glitter. I know it doesn't look... It's a white pumpkin. I didn't know what scent to pick for mine. Because I did... I, I wanted to get pumpkin. But... I've been in such an apple mood lately, too. Like, I kind of, I don't even want to say, I kind of like apple more than pumpkin this year. So, I got mine in White Zombie, which is Mac Apple Birthday Cake and Whipped Cream. And yes, it smells fabulous. Creamy, creamy red apple. I'm tying this back up because I don't want to mess it up. Creamy, creamy red apple. A little bit of sweetness from the birthday cake and whipped cream. And it's as big as my head. This is massive. These are still available on her site. They are pricey. I think they're $43. So you really have to make sure you like the scent. But I know I'm probably going to get, no joke, probably like 50 melts out of that. I mean, it's a lot, a lot, a lot of wax. And now that I'm covered in glitter, I need to really put all my wax away, admire my beautiful vintage cheek collection. Kirby, you know how much you mean to me. I love you so much. And no, this is not a sponsor video. I paid for this all myself. I love supporting Kirby. She's just a friend. And she's not a vendor who's friends with you because you buy wax. She's a friend because she's a friend. And I love Kirby. I love her company. I'll never stop supporting her. And let me know what you've tried from Vintage Chic Sense. I've been seeing a lot more of the YouTube community and getting on the VCS bandwagon again, and I'm so happy. So I'll leave her Facebook group down below. Be kind to everyone, and I'll talk to you soon. Love you. Bye.